What will be your most significant hindrance to succeeding? Your reluctance to change. We are naturally averted to change, although you know change is necessary if you must move your life forward. The average human naturally hates the idea of change. It is difficult getting from where we are to where we are supposed to be. This is why success isn't for everyone. Success is for the selected few, the few who are willing to make the sacrifices required to reach their goal. I will not give you some motivational pep talk on how the path to making your sacrifices for success will be easy. It won't be. It's the most difficult thing to give up certain things you're used to because you want your life to change. But like I have always believed, things change when we want them to change, when we determinedly start to work on seeing them change. Not before then. As a result, the victories we enjoy in our lives will always come with sacrifices that would often be painful. Yet, you can become used to making sacrifices for success if you start early to teach yourself to keep giving up things for your success. In today's video, I will be sharing with you 5 difficult sacrifices you have to make if you hope to succeed. One, time. When I was building my writing career, I had to wake up between 3.30 a.m. to 4 a.m. to juggle between full-time work and writing. I would spend most of the early hours of the morning writing. On most of those days, it was very difficult getting up from the bed because I didn't want to feel too comfortable while writing. I would move out of my apartment, walk through the cold down to a small library in my large domicile. There I would write. Years of doing this daily has gotten me accustomed to not only waking up early, but also has created in me a permanent addiction to writing. I never had more than 24 hours while I decided I would start to write. You won't too. We all have the same 24 hours and we won't ever receive more. Sacrificing your time to achieve your biggest dreams would mean finding out the tasks that are most important to you and making sure you focus on those tasks only without being distracted. Most people who desire to achieve their life's goals try to put so much on their plates. As a result, 24 hours never seem to be enough to complete whatever they have to do. Bruce Lee said, the successful man is the average man with laser-like focus. Two, a desire to fit in. At the point where you have made up your mind to pursue your goals and dreams, you naturally gave up your desire to fit in. The reason is simple. Everyone who desires to achieve a goal has chosen a path not cut out for everybody, and mostly a path not accepted by most. The status quo is populated by millions of people. They may think they want so much for their lives, but they are not willing to ascend beyond their present realm of thinking and perspective. That thinking and perspective must be given up if they must achieve anything of meaning. But you have chosen a life of goals and dreams, so you can't fit into that status quo. As a result, the status quo will not fight you. One of your concerns should be a readiness to face the status quo with an unflinching unwillingness to give in. Here's the truth. You will be despised. You will be rejected. You will be told you're a fool. Just like Galileo was condemned when he argued unrepentantly that the world was round, not flat. When you have understood and envisaged the certainty of these rejections, you can brace yourself for whatever comes and be content to be set aside as crazy. Those who called Albert Einstein crazy in his own time now praise him for the exceptional results he got even after his death. Your success may not be visible to all now, but you must be content to never fit into the crowd anymore if you will achieve that success in the end. 3. Short-Term Feelings Don Graham wrote, Life regrets are more painful than delayed gratification. Another difficult sacrifice you must make on your path to succeeding is short-term feeling. In a day and age where pleasure and comfort are promoted on TV and everywhere you go, it is almost difficult to wait for anything. Whatever we want, we want now. And if it doesn't feel good, we don't want to do it. Even though it has long-term benefits, no matter how overly modernized the world has become, it won't change the fact that delayed gratification is still the way to achieving long-term success. The axiom still holds true, play now and pay later, or pay now and play later. You can't eat your cake and have it. You can't choose your feelings today and still expect a life of success tomorrow. It may not feel good today to give up your bed early, to spend a few hours in the morning practicing your skill, but the long-term result is what matters. It may seem like many sacrifices now when you choose to save a part of your income instead of buying everything you see because your colleagues at work are doing the same. But tomorrow, you will be happy you did when a business opportunity comes and you have the exact money you need handy to take the opportunity. Good things require sacrifices. You must be willing to put a knife to your throat if your goal is to dine with kings. 4. Your old identity. The instant you discover you want to follow the path of success, consider the old you dead. Your belief about yourself is what will keep fighting you and holding you back. This is the kind of person I am, has done more damages to most people than can be counted. Joel Osteen said, What follows the I am will always come looking for you. When you say, I am so clumsy, 
Clumsiness comes looking for you. I am so old. Wrinkles come looking for you. I'm so overweight. Calories come looking for you. It's just like you're inviting them. Whatever you follow the I am with, you're handing it an invitation, opening the door, giving it permission to be in your life. Your identity, who you are now, how you think, and what you believe, was not built in one day. It was built over time. For most young people, what you have believed about yourself is what will keep holding you back. Most believe they are introverted, and so they fight everything that attempts to take them towards being extroverted, even though it may be required for their success. You can't achieve a life of success by remaining the old you. What you call yourself is what you become, and how you see yourself is how you treat yourself. It is a difficult sacrifice to attempt to change that old you, but we said it is not difficult. We never said it is impossible. You can change the way you think. You can change your identity to suit the new identity that agrees with the kind of success you desire to become. 5. Comfort altogether. If you hope to succeed, remove the longing for comfort from your mind altogether. It doesn't mean you should subject yourself to unnecessary suffering, but the most dangerous setback to success is getting too comfortable in a place. In fact, it has been agreed that the greatest hindrance to more success is your present success. You can become too comfortable with your present level. You don't stretch yourself anymore. But there is no limit to how much you can achieve. You either stay where you are and become still, or you keep moving, keep stretching yourself, keep looking for ways to become better, and so keep enjoying repeated success. Success is always a choice we have to make. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.